Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today it's not very nice. It is very muddy, very wet and very rainy. So I thought what better of a day to do a sort of clipping marathon because Casper needs a clip, Joey needs a clip and Mickey might need a clip as well. So I thought, you know what? I've got my I've got my gear on. I've got a nice waterproof coat on, which I haven't even properly started filming today's video, and I'm already pretty much soaked. I've got a cap on. I thought I'd go for like a lighter colour that might not show up all the hairs as well. I don't know. Probably not. It's gonna look like it's been snowing everywhere, especially when I do Casper. Um, so the first horse that I thought I would clip is Casper because he's looking like a bit of a woolly mammoth at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and try it. I'm kind of dreading this because I'm gonna sort of walk through this muddy slodge of a field to go and grab him. But it's really funny because the horses, they kind of like, well, they obviously don't love the rain, but they don't really mind being out in the rain, especially Duke and Mickey recently. They've just been, even though they have a field, shelter they'd rather just eat the grass out in the rain especially Duke he absolutely loves the rain but anyway I'm gonna go and grab Casper now all right so uh, Casper isn't quite looking his best today. Uh, I'm very happy that we've got the dry me to um, keep us nice and warm. Very, very grateful for that. But anyway, um, yeah, his, I think the plan is I'm gonna give him a bit of a sponge bath. Obviously, that was such a sad noise. Do you not want a sponge bath, Gatsby? You'll feel great after a nice clip and a bath, yeah? Tell you what, do you want a treat? That might cheer you up a little bit, Gas. Do you want a treat? Is that better? Yeah, are you happy? Don't worry, here at the This Is Me Salon, we will take good care of you, give you lots of treats. He's also used, basically the only place that's really dirty is his legs and his head. His head he's used as a poo pillow, also under his tummy is quite gross. So I'm, I don't want to get him too wet, because obviously um, he's rather dry from under where his rug was, and it's not very good for horses to be wet when you clip them, because it can blunt the clippers a little bit. But I'm going to try my best. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what we have. I might get some before clips so we can kind of do a before and after. I also need to neaten up his mane a little bit. Because you've got so hairy. He's like a big polar bear at the moment. He's so fluffy. Aren't you, Casp? Okay, should we get you clean? Cleaned up? Yeah? Good man. Okay, Mr. Casper, here is your treat for being such a good boy while being washed. So now Casper is as clean as I can possibly get him with being how fluffy he is. I thought we'd take him out here and I thought it'd be really nice to get a before and after shot while it's not raining for a few minutes. So then you guys can see how different he looks and how smart he'll hopefully look with his new haircut. The only issue I have is right now, obviously he's a little bit damp, especially where his belly is, which is one of the main areas that I need to clip. Um, so I thought I might put him in a stable with a bit of haylage, put a rug on him and hopefully he'll dry out and then I can probably make a start on Joey while he is drying out because Joey isn't as fluffy as Casper so maybe I think that will work so we'll get the before and after shot put your rug on get you in and go and get Joey sound like a plan yes oh you just want a head scratch okay I think Casper is rather happy right now because as soon as I put him in his brand new stable with loads of clean shavings, 
he decided to roll. I did manage to get some clips on my phone of him rolling. We didn't manage to get it on the camera, so excuse the quality, I'll put some over now. But he he enjoyed himself. I think he was just like, okay, you bathed me. I might not be in mud. This is the best I'm gonna do. Try and get myself a little bit dirty again, but no. He does seem very content right now. Yes, with his haylage in his stable. So yeah, I'm gonna go and grab Joey and have a little look at him, see the state of him, and then decide on what I'm gonna do. All right, Joey, let's see what's going on under here, shall we? Are you nice and dry underneath? I think you're looking not too bad. You're looking pretty good, actually. And you don't have any big poop stains on your tummy like Casper did. So we might be able to, after a groom, get you nice and, nice and clipped. Give you a haircut. Would that do, do good? This is my absolutely least favorite part, and that is touching the wet, muddy, pooey straps. I know, it's not very nice. Ta -da! Okay, I'm gonna go and pop this next door. I reckon after a bit of a groom, because he's actually really dry and there's nowhere that I need to sort of wash off like I did with Casper, maybe it's because he's a little bit higher up from the ground so the mud doesn't sort of get stuck to the underside of his tummy as badly as Casper did, but I reckon if I get the clippers out, I can probably give him a bit of a clip. I know you're supposed to give them a wash, but it's winter, we don't have, we don't have time for that. There we go. I reckon he's actually rather clean, I've got to say. He's not like really dusty or anything. I reckon we're good to go, Joey. All right, so I am very lucky to be a sponsored rider for Lister and I'm just grabbing my clippers now. And these are the star ones, which means that um, we now have power here, which is brilliant. So I can plug them into here and because I'm gonna be clipping, hopefully, I'm gonna try and clip three horses today. I don't have to worry about the battery running out because you just connect them up to the plug. So let's get this all organized, ready. And I think I might put a helmet cam on when I clip Joey, just because he's a little bit more wriggly and impatient. So uh, it'll help me having both my hands and my cameraman on hand to help, so. So Joey is now clipped. I am absolutely covered in his hair and my face is so itchy right now. But anyway, before this boy gets too impatient, Joey, that is so rude. Um, I'm gonna grab some nice warm water, give him a hot wash with some hot oil, and then we can go back out in the field. Yes. just finished hot oiling Joey and I'm now just giving him a little bit of a dry off and I think he's enjoying a bit of a scratchy at the same time. Yeah? Good boy. You guys might also be able to hear we've got the fans on as well to help dry him but now he's been clipped He's drying so much quicker, guys. This is gonna be so much easier. Also, we've got a bit of warm weather at the moment. It's around 16 degrees. So I've kind of got this coat on more as fur and water protection rather than warmth. Like I'm actually really warm, um, but that should be really nice. So when I'm actually riding him and he's sort of running around, he's not gonna to get too hot under all that fluff. Now it's all gone. So I'm just gonna dry the other side of him, probably put his rug back on once he's dry and He's probably gonna go and roll. There's, there's no doubt about it, really. He's, yeah, he's gonna tell me, tell me how it is. <laughs> oh, 
All right, Joey, here is a treat for being a good boy while being clipped, even if you're a little wriggly at times, yes? So I am going to grab your lead rope and put you out, because I just know you're, you are itching for a roll. You just want to roll, get all muddy again, maybe have a bit of a run around because you had to stand still for quite a while. Yeah, you a good boy? Come on in. Up. Up. There we go, Joey. I okay, I'm a bit stuck now. I need to limbo under. Do you not want to leave? You've got a bit of dirt on your nose. You don't want to leave? Okay. <laughs> Joey, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to get under. Cool. I'm now back and here with Casper, who has actually dried out quite well. I mean, his rug at the moment is just absolutely covered in shavings from his roll earlier, but that's, that's okay, we can wash that, it's all good. Uh, my poor washing machine, but he's obviously all dry and I'm gonna start off in the most dry areas where I didn't wash him, but he's actually, He's not too bad on his legs. I might have to do them tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see how much I can do, because obviously it's sort of dry up to his knees and then it's a bit damp. Again, his tummy's a little bit damp in places. But I'm gonna do as much as I can today, and if not, I might have to finish off, finish off some little bits and bobs tomorrow. Hey, bubs. I cannot believe how fluffy Casper is. It was actually really funny. When I led him in here, he obviously saw the clippers were out. I don't think it was that, but I think it was just all of Joey's fluff on the ground. I haven't quite cleared up yet. So he kind of walked in and was like, why is there all this fluff on the ground? Like it looked like some some sort of horse had exploded in here or something. It's just lots of, lots of Joey fluff. But anyway, Casper is usually really good to be clipped. He usually kind of like falls asleep. So he should be a bit easier. I feel like I've done the trickiest horse first, doing Joey first. Um, so that's <laughs> good that that's out of the way. But yeah, I feel like I'm starting to kind of regret doing the clipping marathon to try and clip three horses in one day. But you know what? Let's go for it, Caspi. Let's go for it. Okay, Caspi, here is your treat for being a good boy, for being clipped, yes? Oh my goodness. I, right now, am so hairy and itchy. I say, like, I was gonna say Caspi's now um, finished being clipped, but I think we're gonna have to do a little bit more tomorrow morning, because at the moment, he looks a bit like a poodle, because he's clipped all the way down to his knees, because I wanted to clip his legs, because it's just so much easier to manage in the winter, especially when um, it just helps them dry out, especially when they've been out in the mud and things. But um, his legs are still damp from the wash I did first thing this morning. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to let them dry off overnight. And then first thing tomorrow morning, I'll finish clipping his legs because he's also, I feel like every horse, however good they are, like Casper's so good and will fall asleep when I clip him. But he's just got to the stage where he's like, okay, I've been standing here for a really long time now and I'm getting a little impatient, aren't you? Yes. So it's time to hot wash him, get more comfy. And then you can go out in the field again with Joey, yeah. The sun behind me is about to set. So we have about Half an hour of daylight left. So the plan is with Mickey is to grab him, put him in the wash bay, 
give him a bit of a wash and then maybe clip him tomorrow morning first thing again with Caspi when I do his legs because then he'll be dry and he'll dry overnight and it's gonna be really mild tonight as well um, also Casper did not roll which is good I think it's because it's just so wet I feel like there's a good balance between horses wanting to roll in mud and I feel like at the moment I, I, I hate to say this but I think it's too wet for Casper to roll but anyway, I'm gonna go and grab Mickey now, get him some treats, give him some attention. I'll probably have to take Duke up with me as well. Maybe he could have some time in his stable, get used to that a little bit, I'll do some training with him. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been actually not too bad of a day. It's got better as the day's gone on. Um, this morning, it was like torrential rain. And now the sun has come out for a tiny weeny part of the day, which is right at the end. But anyway, I'm gonna go and grab uh, the boys' head collars. Oh my goodness, Casper's has just got hair all over it. That might need to go in the washing machine. Oh my goodness. I, I feel like the whole of me just needs to go in the washing machine. I'm just, I'm just disgusting. we now have the mix here and he's actually not too bad like he's a little bit muddy in places but the main thing are his legs so I probably won't clip them tomorrow but I probably will give them a little bit of a snip with some scissors because he's a little bit of a sensitive boy on you sometimes so um, I'm gonna get him ready give him a clean and then he's all ready for a bit of a bit of a haircut tomorrow hey Mick good boy everybody Mickey is now washed and cleaned and I put his rug on so it looks like he's got his jammies on your pajamas ready for bedtime so I'm gonna put all the horses in get them ready for bed now it's dark and I'll see you guys tomorrow when it's time to clip this little guy and Caspi's legs need finishing off as well yes are you yawning are you tired already ready for bed okay let's unclip you mister pop you away Hi Duke, hello. I need to take your head collar off, mister. Hi Caspi, hello. All right everybody, it is now the next day. I don't know if you'll even be able to tell because I'm wearing the exact same stuff as I did yesterday because I thought, you know what? It's rainy again, I'm going to be clipping horses again, and I'm just going to get dirty anyway, so uh, back into my itchy clothes. But anyway, um, Casper's legs are now dry, so the plan is, first thing this morning, is to finish clipping him, get him ready, maybe even sort his mane out. I might wash his tail as well, because that's pretty dirty. But yeah, your, your face is very dirty, mister. Have you used your poo as a pillow? Yeah. Should we get you into the wash bay then? Round two? Yeah. Mwah. Round two. Duke, this isn't for you. Don't get your head in the way. There we go. Is he going to go in? That is the question. Are you just going to stand and observe? Yeah. Duke, do you want a spa treatment? Hey. You have a little sniff? I mean, I gave it the best... Oh, that's my grooming... That is my grooming kit, mister. Come on. You're in the way here, little one. Yeah. You're looking at the lotions and potions. 
Or are you just enjoying the ear scratch? Yes. Look, you've got, you've got like, come on, Duke. What is the point of licking that when you have your whole dinner in your stable? Should we put you in your stable? Mm-hmm, do some stable time, because we're getting a little bit in the way here. Yes, we're getting a little in the way. I always think it's nice like the second day just to like go over and see what you've done clipping wise because I feel like there's always like however good you do it there's always like a few bits where you're like oh I could just neaten that up so that's what I'm just going to do now and also just finish off his legs because obviously I haven't really started those from the knees or the hocks downwards um, but yeah this sh obviously shouldn't take too long and then you can go out in the rain yeah with Joey who looks half asleep right now but yeah you ready ready steady So Casper's legs are now clipped and just to finish him off I've just done his mane and now I'm onto his tail giving that a bit of a wash because this time of year it does go a little bit yellow um, so yeah I think I might need to do like a second wash with it I might use some purple or blue shampoo that might work quite well but I thought I'd give it a little bit of a rinse off first but oh, this smells so good okay Gatsby almost done all right guys I have just finished oiling Casper's legs up so because I've clipped them I put some baby oil on it and basically what that does is it kind of forms a barrier so hopefully what will happen is when he goes and gets muddy and dirty when he comes back the next day when I when I brush it it'll be easier to brush off because that's there's that sort of oil barrier in place so that's the plan I've done it in the past and it's kind of worked so I thought I'd try it again um, but anyway Casper has been such a good boy I always find clips look so much better like a week after because they just have a bit of time to settle um, but anyway he has been very good so it's time to put his ruggy back on give him some treats and let him out into the mud good boy hey, good boy Lastly, we're now here with Mickey and it's his turn at the This Says Me hairdressers. We've actually put some different blades on the clippers and these are designed especially for horses and ponies that have Cushing's. So uh, Mickey suffers with Cushing's, so that's basically one of the symptoms that he has from it, even though he is on medication is doing really well with that is that he gets really thick fur and he especially in shedding season in the spring and in the autumn he really struggles to lose his um, summer coat or winter coat so um, Mickey's got some areas that are just really thick um, and hairy especially on his back um, legs or on his bottom he gets areas that are almost matted because they get so thick and curly so um, also Mickey has recently been getting kind of sweaty under all of this you know in the UK it does get colder in the winter but you know this is this is it's, it's pretty mild over here to be honest uh, I'm quite warm in the jacket that I'm wearing um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him a little bit of a clip which will help um, his maintenance yes he also has a bit of a skin condition so it does mean when he's really hairy like this we can't see the areas where he might need treatment or his special cream on so um, I've decided to clip him just to make that easier I haven't decided if I'm just gonna do like a half clip on him or if I'm gonna do a full clip um, so we'll see how he goes with the clipping and I'll see what his skin's like underneath um, but yeah hopefully he should be a good boy and stand nice and still hey Mick good man I've also started like a little bit here you can see this is where his coat was getting kind of matted and really thick and curly you can see how wavy it is so I decided to just have a little clip of that also here tends to be an area that gets a little bit more pooey where he lies down in the stable or muddy so that's just going to really help us out I would clip his legs but again his skin's really sensitive there so I'm um, he doesn't like it too much um, so what I might do is just get some scissors and give it a little bit of a trim so I can get to areas that might need some treatment <laughs>
has now been clipped and out of all three horses he was the best he was so good also on the cushing um the cushing clippers that we used or the blades that we used on the clippers they just absolutely they were like a knife through melted butter they just glid through mickey's absolute monstrosity of a fluff Yes, look at all this. This was on you. Um, it's actually been really good that we clipped him. I was thinking of just doing a half clip, but I decided to do a full one because you could see Mickey does have um, a bit of a skin condition being a Cromello. He's got very sensitive skin. Um, so there are some bits which he's a little bit scaly. So um, don't worry, we're going to medicate those and make sure you're all good and all better, especially on his legs. He does um, struggle a little bit, especially in the winter when it's muddy. Again, I didn't clip his legs because they are very sensitive and I don't think he'd tolerate that for too long but I did use some scissors and gave them a little bit of a trim so he's got a bit of a fluffy leg warmer look going on I don't know why but when I first clipped him and he's still like before I did his legs I felt like he, he looked like a Shetland you know when Shetlands have a full clip and their um and their legs are all like fluffy I thought he looked adorable but anyway I'm gonna give him a bit of a wash down hopefully he won't be too itchy I know you itchy itchy Yes, and we'll try and get all of the little little hairs off you. I tell you what, Mickey, I am very itchy myself anyway. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? There we go. Good boy. Anyway, I'm going to go and run the kettle, get some nice warm water for him and give him a little bit of a wash. And then you're done, mister. Yeah. Oh, he's just so cute, guys. He's so cute. <laughs> been a good boy yeah you've oh got on you need to calm down i got on dropped them there we go you are actually the best boy out of all of them you were very good especially when i did your more sensitive parts yeah well done so mickey is now clipped he's been washed he's just been drying in the solarium so now it's time to put his rug on get him out in the field see if he rolls i'm not sure i feel like my horses don't like to roll when it's like really really wet so we will see but anyway he, um all three horses were so good and i'm actually pretty proud that i managed to get them all three of them clipped in one and a half days i don't know if it was a, i still haven't decided if it was a good decision just to get it all mickey just to get it all done at once or not but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video seeing all of the horses get a bit of a glow up a bit of a pamper especially as we're going into 2022 we've all got a new lovely haircut um also thanks to lister for all of the um <laughs> clippers and things i'm uh, very very grateful for that um for them being my sponsors but anyway thank you so much guys for watching today's video if you're new or haven't done so already please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and i really do appreciate it <laughs> and i'll see you all next time bye what a lick attack hey even with the new haircut you're still licky yes <laughs>